Hi guys, happy Independence Day and today I will show how celebrating Inland Empire. It's gonna be in Ayala Park, city of Chino. We expect fireworks, good food and of course many many people in so patriotic outfits. <laughs> it's how it looks when you find parking so far away. So and now 6.30 so guys try to come in more early first of all i want to say that for me as a person from ukraine the california climate is so hot it's something unrealistic my whole body sweating flows away and even my wedding ring is a uh, small <laughs> and uh, it's how i look during hot weather it's not how i look actually at home but Anyway, we're going to celebrate Independence Day in the city of Chino, Ayala Park. Last year we attended the same event like in Chino but in Upland, it's also in Land Empire. And this, for this event we paid $10 per person, per ticket. And honestly, it's not the best experience in the, about Independence Day. Just a few fireworks and long line to restroom, long line for food, um, no parking, absolutely disaster. So Upland, I'm sorry, it's beautiful city, but we will see what will be today. I hope everything will be fine. I'm not American, I'm Ukrainian, so for me as a foreigner it's something interesting when people bring chairs with them and it looks not like picnic, it's real barbecue party because people come with tents, with their food and looks completely unusual for my European view, but for Americans it, it's traditional and every year they spend Independence Day like that. This will be the first day of independence for my daughter. She's American, so I will educate her in patriotic feelings, to love her motherland, even if she wants to go be a soldier, to defend the honor of USA, I will never stand in her way. Forever and always line for food. Every time on the uh, line, line for restroom and line for food. Of course, food at such events is much more expensive than in regular stores. For example, for two burritos and Coca-Cola, we paid $25. And when you go to the events, prepare money in advance because prices are so much higher. And just in case, guys, burrito uh, not so del it's it's really uh, it's really bad burrito. I don't know. I hope next time <laughs> we will be more lucky and we will pay for good burrito. The atmosphere in the park was unique. Of course, not all people were dressed as patriotics, but mostly everyone tried to follow some dress code with elements of an American flag, which was very nice to see. And actually, I admire American patriotism at all. Okay, guys, so how do people who come to this even spend time? Well, some just sat in a tent and ate food brought from home. Others stood in line to buy ready-made food. Children played, young people looking at each other, walking, some listening to rock concert and some just sit down on their chairs and expected fireworks. I'm just walking, enjoying this holiday. Honestly, it's my favorite holiday in America. Not even Christmas, no. Independence Day of America. And I really dream that after Ukraine winning, we will also be able to have fireworks, celebration, and to not be afraid that fireworks, it's not a bomb, it's a fireworks. So thanks America for help and I hope Ukraine will win soon. So it's already 8 p.m. and 
and in an hour the fireworks will begin so people are slowly getting comfortable looking for a place for a better view of fireworks and we also go and take our place We counted from 10 and beautiful fireworks began and it was so much better than last year in city of Upland, sorry city of Upland and city of China. Tonight I give you 10 points for organizing the Independence Day of America. It was unique and beautiful day. And guys, thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe on my channel. Love you. Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Bye bye. The most interesting how people get out.